Kui. Aloha. Welcome. Welcome to Halau na Pua Hala no Ike Kai. This is our Saturday Ohana Hula class, and I can't believe it has been exactly one week since our May Day is Lay Day in Hawaii extravaganza. Thank you to so many of you for being a part of it. Uh, if you missed it, um, you can always, you know, go back and watch the replay right here on this page. Or you, you know, can um, go to our YouTube. So let's see some images, actually, from the May Day is Lady performance. Here you are. Uh, so many of you joined us from 11 different countries, 80 plus dancers joining together to dance May Day is Lady, Le Pua Me Lia, Le Ho Oheno, so many favorites. We had Keiki, we had Kupuna. You got to check it out for yourself. If you haven't seen it yet, head on over to our YouTube, which... I'm excited. We have about 85 subscribers. I know that's not big, but for that, for us, that's big since we only launched it last week. So be one of those subscribers. Head on over to YouTube and look for our channel, um, Mapua Hala, and you can watch our Mayday show. And we'll have new stuff coming out. Um, actually, today's replay of our class will be up later today. So definitely check that out. Watch and subscribe to us on YouTube. And for now... Without any more commercials, it is time to start hula. Aloha. Welcome back. My name is Kumu Kanoi, and I am the Kumu Hula of this halau. This is halau na pua hala kuno ike kai. This is my assistant, my love. This is my son. This is Eames Kalaniakea Williams. And we are so excited to be bringing you hula right here on Facebook Live from the comfort of our home to the comfort of your homes. Um, and this Saturday uh, is sort of the beginning of a new month of hulas. I know last week, Saturday was the first of May, but we had other stuff to do that day. So we're going to jump right into the way that we always be begin our Ohana Hula Saturdays, which is with Hawaii Pono'i. Now, Hawaii Pono'i, of course, is now our state anthem and was originally our national anthem. And it was written by these two guys. Now, the guy on top is King David Kalakaua, and the guy on the bottom is Henry Berger. Now, I have a question for you. Who wrote the words? Was it the guy on the top or the guy on the bottom? What do you think? Any ideas? The guy on the top. That's right. I shouldn't call him the guy. That's kind of disrespectful. But our king, King David Kalakaua, wrote the beautiful text, three verses and a chorus. We don't often hear all three verses, except right here on Saturdays. We always do all three verses. So here we are. We're going to do all three verses. Make sure that when we do this anthem, we stand tall. Palike kua means your back is straight like a cliff. Mahina kealo means your face shines like a moon with a nice smile. And we're going to do all three verses. Hawaii pono i pa. Hawaii pono i na na i Ah. Uh. 
which means verse number one. Hopefully you knew where we are headed. Pauku elua is verse two. Pauku ekolu is verse three. And hui, what does hui mean? Do you remember what hui means? Um, chorus. Chorus, absolutely. Hui means chorus. So we alternate back and forth between the two. All right. So that was our Hawaii Pono'i. At this time, we are going to do an aloha chant. But before we do our Oli Aloha, we want to know who we're saying aloha to. So let's give some shout outs to our viewers who are watching and tuning in. Thank you so much for letting us know. Um, let's see. We have Hayato Takaoka in Japan. Aloha no. Um, Angelica Demeral from Germany, Kelemania. Barbara joining us from Kailua, Kona. Inger from right over here at, uh, in the YLI area. Patricia joining us from Massachusetts. Rai Moana joining us from France. Palani, aloha no. Monica joining us from Hungary. Yvonne, wait, Yvonne, 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 Florida? Wait, I'm, I'm getting mixed up. Okay, Michelle from Louisiana. Emmy from Danbury, Connecticut. Good to see you again. Regina. Aloha no, Michaela from Virginia, Brenda from New Jersey, Tam from also from Virginia, Coco Coco in Mexico, and Linda joining us from Pennsylvania. Oh, we also have Laura from Mexico City and Norma from Mexico. Lots of friends from Mexico today. Aloha mai kako. Welcome. At this time, we're going to do that Oli Aloha, which is, of course, written by Kumu Pilahi. Paki. Pilahi Paki was a scholar of all things um, aloha. She knew all about aloha. She was a, um, an expert in ho'oponopono, and she helped to write the law of the aloha spirit. Did you know that here in Hawaii, we actually have a law as part of our revised statute that spells out exactly how to treat one another with aloha, and it features these words that you see Written by Pilahi Paki herself. So here we go. Palike kua, make your hands, make your hands, make your back straight like a cliff. Nalima elua makaau au, put your hands on the side of your body. At the very end, when we do the end of this chant, we're going to take our right hand from our mouth. Go ahead and put it at your mouth now. Let's try it. And then we're going to draw it across our body and share that aloha as we say the word aloha to close this oli. Okay, here we go. Oli aloha. A kahai na Hawaii, lo kahi a kuli ke, olu olu kamana o, ha a ha a kau kula na, a ho nui a la na kila, aloha. That was for all of you. Aloha mai kako, welcome. At this time, we're going to noho i lalo. My kumu always had a sit for the prayers. I'm, I'm not exactly sure why, but we always did. We would stand for the chant and sit for the prayers. So this is our Hawaiian doxology. Um, and the doxology, most people only will be familiar with this top stanza here, the, the first four lines, which were, of course, translated by Hiram Bingham, who you see right down below here. That's right. That's right. So um, a good friend of ours, Kumu Haunani Bernardino, who unfortunately has passed away, she always loved Ho'onani, the Hawaiian doxology, and she thought there should be more to it. It shouldn't be done so quickly. So she was a scholar of Hawaiian language and mele, and she wrote a second verse. 
And, um, you know, on, on her deathbed, she actually asked that we continue to sing this and spread it because it really captures the Hawaiian sense of, of um, gratitude for everything in this universe, all of the beauty in this world. So we have two verses that we share with you today, uh, Ho'onani and Kuno Ha'aha'a. Please join us. Ho'onani. Pa. Ho'onani kama kuama ke ke ki ne ka uhane no ke akua mau ho'o mai ka ipu ko ke a Is there supposed to be a U after the K-O? Mm. Ko, which one? Ko ke yeah. Ko ke no. Um, oh. He's asking if there's supposed to. Ko, like after, ka, in the second ko, verse. In the second verse. Um, the word K-O can mean of. It's kind mm -hmm. of like O, ka, ho, nua. But it kind of, there is K-O-U, is if it's your. Yeah? K-O means of. Huh. Kind of like, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. So why does it sound the same? How do they know the difference when they're I, just talking to I each know. Other? And when they speak so quickly, how do they know the difference? Yeah. I don't know. Context? It's like English. It's kind of a crazy language. And we have even less letters in Hawaiian language. So, whew, very confusing. Hey, good question. Okay. We're going to go on to the next prayer. And this one is done in Kahua Hoa style. Hoa, of course, means friend. Are you my friend? Yeah. Like it or not, he's my friend. Kahua Hoa is partner style. And so we're going to do it in call and response. <clears throat> I will be the mea alaka'i, the one to lead. And you will be the mea ho'opili, the one to follow. You can be on either e team. E ho'opili. E ho'opili, my. That's right. Okay. E ke akua pa. E ke akua, e ke akua, mahalo no, mahalo no, mahalo ya oi, mahalo ya oi, no ke ya la, no ke ya la, amene, 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 amene. Mahalo for that. Now, I know that we only have the Hawaiian on the, um, the, the slides here, but I wanted to just take a moment to tell you what this mm -hmm. chant means. So, e ke akua means, oh dear God. Mahalo no means what? What is mahalo no? Thank you. Thank you. Mahalo ya oi, thanks to you. No ke ya la for this beautiful. For, for the food. Well, this one says no ke ya la, <laughs> which is for this day. day. Amene. Amene. So we want to give thanks for such a beautiful day. And while we do, we're kind of curious. You folks are all around the world. Pehea ke la. How is the weather? where you are today. If you would like to answer this question about wherever you are in Hawaiian, you would Ooh. say, he la blank ke ia. Unless Ooh. it's nighttime, which it is for those of you in Germany and Hungary and France, then you would say, he po blank ke ia. Okay, so today, pehea ke la ma'ana'i. How is the weather over here, sir? Yeah, you tell me. It's funny because it would be, he Po, po, oh, no, yeah, you wouldn't do hey, po, po. I just wanted to show them that po means night. I know you're always criticizing my slides, but I wanted them to see la is day, po is night. 
Okay? So, Peheya Kia Ni La. I'm asking you a question. Peheya Kia Ni La. Okay. Uh, he la mali. Ai, he la mali ke It is a very calm, beautiful day here in Nu'uanu Valley on the island of Oahu, right here in Hawaii. So, we're curious. Pehea ke ni la makou hale, or makou aina, where you live at your house. Pehea ke ni la. How's the weather? All right. So now that we know how the weather is, hopefully you're typing that into the chat. Um, oh. I wonder if that went too fast. Oh well, hopefully you, you made a choice before we change the slide. Now it's time to rise up the sun. Eala e. Eala e means wake up. And so we're going to do the chant that helps us to rise up the sun. Our sun is already up, as you saw in the video, but that's okay. Here we go. We're going to start with two upoho or kind of cupping hands. One, two, and then we're going to clap our hands flat. Okay, let's do that pattern. Ready, set. Here we go. Upoho, upoho, e. Upoho, upoho, e ala e pa. E ala e kala i ka hiki na i ka moana ka moana honu i i ka leva ka leva nu u i ka hiki na ai a ka la e ala e hana ho one more time go e ala e kala i ka hiki na i ka moana ka moana honu i i ka leva ka leva nu u i ka hiki na ai a ka la e ala e and stop right there we always do e ala e three times and on this third time i wanted to make sure that you know what we're talking about so repeat after me as we do some descriptive hand motions this is not the hula, but just sort of telling you what it means. So e ala e means to wake up. Listen first. E ala e. You try. E ala e. Good. The next part, kala is the sun. And hikina is the east. So point towards the east in your neck of the woods. It might be a different direction. Maybe it's not this way. Maybe it might it's be this that way. way. That way. Or, I don't know. Okay. So kala. Okay, ready? Do kala. Do that. Kala ika hikina. You try. Ika hikina. The next part talks about the ocean. Ika moana. You try. Ika moana. Kamoana ho ho nu. Ho'opili mai. Repeat after us. Kamoana ho ho nu. Pi kalava means to climb up to the heavens. So it says pi kalava. Go. Pi kalava, kalava nu'u is the highest heavens. You go, kalava nu'u, ika hikina is the east. Ready, go. Ika hikina, ayakala means there is the sun. You try. Ayakala, and we also say, eala e, wake up, go. Eala e, very good. Let's do it one last time chanting. E ala e, here we go. E ala e, kala i ka hiki na, i ka moana, ka moana ho ho nu, pi i ka leva, ka leva nu u, i ka hiki na, ai a ka la. E ala e. Very good. The last chant that we do on our Ohana Hula Saturdays is a whole mai. And this one is um, by Edith Kanaka Ole, and it helps us to kind of focus ourselves and get ready to learn all of the things. So if you don't know this chant at all, just repeat after me. E ho mai. You try. E ho mai. You're going to get those words, e ho mai. A whole bunch of times 12 times in fact in the whole chant because we're gonna do the whole thing from top to bottom and then again and then again three times total okay oh, so even if you can get just can just get a whole mind then you'll get most of the chant okay, okay. but you can do it all yeah no maybe a whole my pa e ho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na me a no e a o na me le e ho mai e ho mai e ho mai e ho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na me a no e a o na me le 
my, eh ho my, eh ho my, eh ho my, ka ike my luna my, eh ho na me a una no e a una me le, eh ho my, eh ho my, eh ho my. Mahalo, mahalo for that. In case you were wondering, no, Eames' voice did not just drop all of a sudden. The man behind the camera is Eames' daddy, my husband, Uncle Luke. So thank you, babe, for not only running the video, but also singing and chanting along. Man, he's a talented guy. All right, at this time, I ask you to go and grab your ipu. If you have an ipu heke or an ipu heke ole, or if you have none of those things, uh, ohe ipu. If you have no ipu, that's okay, too. You can improvise. Um, some of my students have used in the past water bottles. That works really well. Also, um, empty soy sauce bottles. Uh, I've seen people use, uh, the funniest thing I saw recently was a Mod Podge bottle full of Mod Podge still. Maybe not recommended. Okay, so be careful what you have. It should be empty and have like a, um, you know, an open top. Um, and be able to hold it around the top with one hand so that you can lift it with only one hand. Okay, so this is our ipu heke ole, which means the ipu without a head. And this mele, mele ipu heke ole was taught to me at Kamehameha School's Explorations way back in the day. Um, and so we're gonna do this one. It talks about how to make an ipu. The first step is, well, of course you have to grow it. Then after you pick it, you're gonna chop off the head, then you're gonna dig out the guts, kind of like a pumpkin, and then you're going to um, sand it, make it nice and smooth, and then we have to dip it in the ocean so that the, um, the bugs will be deterred by the salt. So we're gonna dip it into the ocean forward and back, and forward and back. Okay, so I know this one is kind of a simple song, but it helps us remember all of the things we need to do like to take times. care of our ipu. I'm sorry, what were you saying while I was talking? We do it all like three times. This one we're going to do two times. Okay. I mean like all the things that you do. Oh yeah. Each motion we're going to do three times. Absolutely. You're correct. Okay. Here we go. Maybe four. Hana wau ika ipu heke ole pa. Hana wau ika ipu heke ole. Four times. Ika ipu heke ole. Hana wau ika ipu heke ole. Dip. Ika papa hana no e ao sing with me hana wo hana wo ika ipu heke ole ika ipu heke ole hana wo ika ipu heke ole ika papa hana no e ao and stop. Now some of you are probably wondering, wait a second, is this class for kids or adults or whoever? We think that it's important for everyone to learn everything. Um, kids should learn how to play the ipu because it helps them to get a little bit of rhythm. Adults should learn songs like this so that they can teach it to their kids. So we're glad that you're all with us and please join in. Uh, right now we're gonna do the beats of the ipu and it starts off with something very simple. Makes it look very simple. But it's very difficult. Put your right hand on the side of your ipu. I'm I'm mirroring you, so follow my hands. And you're just gonna alternate side to side. Pinky thumb, pinky thumb. This is called the ka eke loloi or the rattling sound. Okay, we're gonna do this every time we hit the ipu on the ground, but just one time. Like that. Okay? The second verse, uh, second verse, the second beat is called pa. And the pa is an alternating beat between the u on the ground and the tip. Okay, so let's try the paw beat alternating. Keep the pattern going. Ready, set, paw. Here we go. And stop. Very good. The next beat down says kahela. Kahela is a double beat. So you're going to get a okay. Okay, let's try that. Ready, go. The last beat is called the cool cool. This is the triple beat. This one is gonna be three oohs on the ground. Ooh, 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 and then the te te on the side. Let's try the cool cool beat. 
Ready, here we go. And stop right there. Very, very good. Now, some of you may have seen on Instagram and Facebook this week that I had posted some information about an upcoming Zoom class. We're gonna be um, putting out the registration information for this class. Uh, hopefully later today, maybe tomorrow, but here it is. Um, Ilea Kahula Ikaho'opa'a um, is going to be a class we're offering on May 31st. Now, that's a Monday here in Hawaii, and it's a holiday in, in, the, Ameri in the United States. So I know for some of you folks, you said, oh, that's a terrible day for me. I have to go to work. I'm so sorry about that. I was trying to um, find a day where I could teach for the European time zone especially. So um, if you're in Europe or if you're in the US mainland and you don't have to work that day. Um, now, if you're in Asia, I'm sorry, but that is a terrible time for you. It's like 1 a.m. or 2, 3, I don't know what time it is for you. It's very, very early and I'm sorry. We will try to offer that class again um, sometime soon. But Ilea Kahula Ikahoopa'a is going to be a class all about the ipu all of the beats, um, that saying, Ile'a kahula i opa'a, says that the most pleasure is had in the hula by the drummer, by the one who holds the ipu and who holds the beat. So we're going to learn some basics of ho'opa'a, some um, how to use the ipu, and um, some, some fun things. So I hope that you will join us for that class. And the registration info is not up yet. But hopefully it will be soon, uh, maybe later today or tomorrow. So keep an eye on our Facebook and our Instagram so that you can um, sign up for that and be a part of that Zoom class coming up on May 31st at 6 a.m. in the morning for Kumu. But it's all for you folks, okay? All right. At this time, we're actually going to go into some, um, some hula steps. So I'm going to ask you to Kui Luna. And Eames is going to be our, our demonstrator. So can you come on this side? Okay. And I'm going to be the ho'opa'a. I am going to be the one who um, pa'is the ipu. And so Eames is going to do um, the demonstration for you. And you folks can just follow along. He's going to be mirroring you. So when he goes this way, that's right for you. And then when he goes that way, that's left. Okay. So here are um, some steps that I want you to learn. The first one is actually, can you come a little bit closer to me? I think daddy might need you. Yeah. That's good. Okay, so the first one is called the kaholo. Now, for most of you, this is old hat, easy peasy. The kaholo step is a very basic four count vamp. And you're going to take four steps to the right and then four steps to the left. So we're going to go this way first and then that. Hands on your waist, please. Fingers to the front, thumbs to the back, bending your knees slightly. Kaholo to the right and left. Kaholo right, kaholo left, kaholo right, kaholo left, kaholo right, kaholo left, and cool. Very good. Let me move to the side so you have a little bit more room and we, we can always see. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so let's try that one more time. Eames did a great job. I hope you did too. His steps were nice and even um, and he was not... Uh, lifting his heels too much so flat foot okay now let's try bending our knees a little bit kaholo to the right kaholo right and left very good kaholo right kaholo left kaholo right kaholo left and cool very good the next step that we want to cover is called the kao now i was looking up in the dictionary and i realized that kao that phrase together kao is not in the dictionary the word o is in the dictionary which is another step but when you put it together kao it's a different hula step so here we go kao is just going to be a sway fleet fleet feet <laughs> feet are flat bend your knees and you're going to shift your weight side to side pushing that hip right and left kao right kao left very good right left flat feet right Left, notice that Eames' feet are not wiggling around. His toes are not curling or lifting up. And he even has a nice, pleasant smile on his face. Very good. Let's add that other step. Kaholo to the right and left. And right 
back to cattle swing. Right and left, right and left, right, left, kaholo, right and left and go. Cool. Very good. The next step that I would like you to take a look at is called the hella. For the hella step, the heels will go together and toes pointed out just slightly. Oh, I'm wrong. Lele is next, but let's do hella first. Okay, hella first. So you're 45 degree angle and um, you're going to bend your knees down like you're sitting in a chair. Yep. And your right foot is going to be placed out to the 40 or other right foot. Yes, this right foot. <laughs> That's your right foot. Okay, 45 degree angle, flat foot. From toe to heel, all of this in between is going to be stuck to the ground, okay? And then you're going to bring it back together, heels together. And then the left foot is going to extend out to the corner, flat foot, and bring it back in. Yep, and your weight is going to be on the opposite foot or the opposite hip, okay? So bend the feet down. Right, hella, go. Right and left. It's out, in, out, in, right, hella left, hella right, hella left, hella right, hella left, hella right, hella left, hella right, left, right, left, right, left, and stop. Very good. Okay, the last step that I need you to learn for our choreography coming up in a minute is called Lele. So for Lele, hands are still on your waist and you're going to bend your knees just slightly and you're going to step forward with the right foot. The right foot is going to step forward and then without bringing the feet together, the left foot, oh sorry, bring it, yeah, the left foot is just going to continue forward. You're just going to step, 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 step. Okay, so let's try it. Lele imua, walking forward. Step, right, left. Lele hope, back, step. Right, left, very good. Lele imua forward. Forward, forward, forward. Lele hope back. Right, left, right, and left. That's it. Okay, so I know that was kind of like, whoa, that's a lot to learn, Kumu. But those are the four steps we're going to need for our choreography that's happening right now. So if you were still doing your ipu with me, put it away. I should have told you, put your ipu away. Uh, you should have been dancing. Okay, cool, Iluna. That's me. Oh, I was willing myself to stand up after sitting down so long. Okay, so our hula that we're going to be learning today is called, so sorry, is called Pu Pu O Ni I Ho. Now, Pu Pu O Ni I Ho was actually written by Mary Robbins, but the reason I chose it is because for the entire month of May, we are celebrating the music played by Brother Is Kamaka Vivo Ole. That's Israel Kamaka Vivo Ole. So he has a recording of this. Um, it's just like an acoustic version of him, or maybe he was plugged. Anyways, it's a beautiful version of him doing this melee, and his parents, actually his mom, is from Niihau. Did you ever know anyone from Niihau? No. I did. I mean, I do. They're still alive. So, anyways, uh, Pupuo Niihau, of course, talks about the shells of Niihau, which um, we have seen some beautiful ones last year, not last year, last month <laughs> for May Day is Lay Day. Um, but Pupuo Niihau talks about the shells of Niihau. And right here, you see the first verse of Pupuo Niihau. So, Let's get ready to dance. Kuiluna, stand on up. I'm going to talk to you about the feet work first for pupuo niihau. So for pupuo niihau, the first thing that we're going to do uh, is going to be a kaholo to the right and left. So put your hands on your waist. Okay, and let's move back so that they can really see. Okay, and we're going to do a kaholo to the right and left. So bend your knees down. Ready, and it starts pu pu o ni i hau au he a then on o we on the word oi which means you we're gonna get lele imua one and two and then hope one and two so we get right left right left okay so let's if you start on the word ni i hau we're gonna call hold it to the right okay ready Pu pu o ni i ha u a u step forward o we and back right ho i ke when we get to ho i ke now we just had a ho i ke ho i ke is a show 
or it means to display. Aha, uh -huh, see what I did there? We're making connections. Okay. Hoike is going to kaholo again. Hoike a e o e. Aiko nani. You're going to get a hella right and left. Hella and hella. Okay, so that's the pattern. Kaholo, kaholo. Lele, lele. Hella, hella. Okay, so here we go. Let's start from the, the right. Pu pu o ni i ha u a u he a o we. Step back, right. Ho i ke a e o we. A i ko u na ni. Now your vamp in between is going to be the kaholo. So put your um, left hand out to the side, your right hand is um, at your, sh your chest, and you're going to bring side and front, and then switch. Side and front, and there's an extra two beats. Bring your hands across your chest, and we're going to get a ka-o, ka-o. You were probably wondering, but Kumu, where is the ka-o? Well, there it is. It's right there. Okay, so we're going to start with a holo. Ready, ka-holo to the right, two, three, and left. Kao, here we go. Poo poo, right. Poo poo, oh, ni i ho. Oh, step forward, oh, oh, way. Step back, right. Ho i ke, holo to the right, and holo to the left, and hella right, and a vamp bum. Ba di da bi da bi da bi dum. Kao, and sway two times. One. Poo poo poo, cuckoo. Cu. Ni i ha u a uh, u. Step forward, oh, oh we i ho pe back. Ho i ke a e o oh, we. Get ready, hella. A i ko u na ni ba dam bi dam bi dam bi dam bi dam. Okay, let's try it with the music and the feet. Great job, everybody. So this is Pupo Ni Iho by Mary Robbins, as performed by Israel Kamaka Vivo Ole. Oh, my speaker went off. Sorry. Try again. Here we go. Hands on the waist. Follow. Pupo Ka all two times. Hands on your waist for now. Lele I walk forward. Back. Hollow right and left. Hello. Hollow. Okay, I gotta move my Hina. She's kind of getting beat up over here. Sorry about that, Hina girl. Okay, so let's talk about the hands for Pupuo Niihau just briefly. So um, your vamp, in case you were wondering, the vamp starts with the right hand across your chest. <coughs> yeah, that one. And then left hand is going to be out to the side. And then it's going to draw to the front. And then you're going to switch side and front. Okay? And then come across the chest for your two kao, right and left. Okay? So pu pu o ni i ho, you're going to drop your hands to a just about, um, this is my hip level. Okay? So right here, you're going to go down, up, down. So these are our little shells. Okay? And they're very, very tiny. They're not huge like the size of our hand. That would be very uncomfortable to wear a lei made out of that. But they're going to be here, and it's just going to go down, up, down like that. Okay, so down. Pu pu o oh actually pu pu o ni i ho. Then ohea means where are you? Your right hand is gonna stay there, and your left hand is gonna come up over your eye, and it's like you're searching. Hello down there, where are you? Okay, just kidding. Okay, so ni i ho searching. Uh Oe means you. So you're going to point to the right. And then you're going to switch. 
point to the left. Oe. Then ho ike a e o. You're going to cross your hands. Ho ike a e o. E. Ai ko nani is your beauty. You're going to lift up and then across your chest. That's it. That's your hella hella. You're so sleepy today. All the yawns. My gosh. Okay. So let's try、um, this time just the hands. See if you can follow along with us with just the hands. Okay. Here we go. Not this. Hands. Down. Other side. Hands across your chest. Flip the shells. Where are you? Point right. Point left. Cross in front. Your beauty. Up and chest. Side. Front. Side and chest. Pull, pull. Little shells. Where are you? Point right and left. Show your beauty. Cross and open. Up and down. There's only two hella, so it goes really fast. All right. So now let's try putting those two together. Pu pu o ni h a o with hands and feet. No music yet, okay? So start with your hands and your waist. Ready, holo vamp. Da ba 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 A i k o u n a n i follow the hands. Ba di da bi da bi da bi da m ka o sue, elbows up. Pu pu o ni i ha o search. A u he a o e step back. Ho o i k e a e o e. Sorry. Da 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 Search here and there. Show your beauty. Hala and Ula. Kao. Search here. Step and back. Hala two times. Hala. <laughs> We're gonna try that one more time before I move on to our last thing、um, before poi balls today. We have two, two things left. Okay, we'll see if we make it to poi balls. Ready? Holo. Poo poo poo. Little shells. Okay, o i Show your beauty. Hella two times. Now. Good. Follow that hand. Ka o. Step forward. And back. Show your beauty. That's it. And we'll always get that ka o in between. Nice job. So that was the first verse of Pupu o ni i h a o We have five、um, verses to do. And so for the next couple of weeks, we'll probably do two of each verse.、Um, so this is verse one. Next week, we'll probably do two and three, and then four and yeah, something like that. <laughs> 
Okay, so that was uh, Pupu Ni Ihao. At this time, we're going to move on to another mele, which uh, of course was performed by Israel Kamaka Vivo Ole. And this one he did as a medley with Wind Beneath My Wings, which we're learning on the Tuesday class. So if you don't already, please join us for the Tuesday class um, where we're learning Wind Beneath My Wings as well as White Sandy Beach. Now, Hey Hawaii, y'all. This choreography is not mine. This is actually my Kumu Le Momii Maldonado's choreography. And I have taught this to a ton of students at Sacred Hearts Academy, Punahou School, and of course my own Halal, and even abroad. I think we did this in Chicago, and I've, I've done it with a couple of other groups, Hawaii Youth Opera Chorus. So, Hey Hawaii Yao is a perfect one for this month. Fern reminded me because it is Asian, uh, what? Asian American Pacific Islanders? Yes, it, it is that month. <laughs> and Hey Hawaii Yao means I am a Hawaiian. Now, even if you are not a Hawaiian, perhaps you're a Hawaiian at heart, this is the perfect song for you because it says, I identify with the Hawaiian spirit, the Hawaiian soul, the Hawaiian people. So, He Hawaii. Oh, you can sit down for this one, actually. And so we're going to do He Hawaii, y'all. This one was written by Ron Rocha and Peter Moon, and it was performed first by the Sunday Manoa, which is Peter Moon and the Brothers Casimero. But Brother Is made this into a medley um, for, for um, Wind Beneath My Wings and He Hawaii, y'all. So we're going to work on this. We're going to probably get about halfway through this week, and then if you uh, want to come back next week, then we'll definitely finish it up. Okay, so... Uh, E.K. Yopo says, on this night. For this one, you're going to bring your hands down. This is one of the lowest levels that we could possibly get to for our hands. So we're not touching our body, but just slightly lifted away from your body. And you're going to lift the hands, and they're going to go up overhead to 45-degree angle. So E.K. Yopo. E.K. means I am here. You're going to bring your hands right down in front of your chest like this. So eiao me oi, um, they're going to end right at chest level, level rather. Me oi, you're going to chest and you're going to bring it forward, not too wide. Okay, keep it very close together still. Okay, so ikeiapo from down below on this night. Ikeiapo, eiao means I am here. Eiao me oi with you. Me oi. Okay, try that one more time. Are you, you familiar with this song, yeah? You know how this one goes? Okay, here we go. You're going to dance with me, so make sure you're paying attention, okay? So here we go. That's it. For that part, you're going to just get kaholo. It's pretty simple, right and left, okay? Ready, here I go. Then keep your fingers close together because the next motion, I really love this motion that my kumu did. It almost looks like ballet to me. You're going to lift the right hand up above your head as the left hand extends out to the 45 degree angle. So they're both at 45 degree angles, but one is um, pointing towards the corner at shoulder level, and one is overhead. I'm actually going to ask that we use another camera so that we can show you this angle a little bit better. So from eyao me oi, your hands are out in front, and then they're going to split this way just like that. So hopefully you can get a feel for This is the 45-degree angle here. It's a little hard to see even in this angle, but this is my 45-degree angle pointing towards the top corner of my room. Got that? Yeah. Okay, let's stay in this angle for one time through and then we'll go come back to the first one. E K Apo E I am here with you. Me o e split the hands. K Apo Ua ho e you're gonna drop the hand. Ua ho e and then I'm gonna show you this one. My o now you're gonna wanna see this from the front angle, but it's your right hand on your shoulder, left hand is at your hip. Okay, so let's come back to the regular angle. And let's go up to the part that we did, and then I'll break down those last two motions. Okay, ready? Lifting slowly. E K Apo says, on this night, A I am here with you. Me O split the hands. K Apo. Now drop the right hand to um shoulder level. Ooh, then Mayo. 
Your left hand is headed to the, um, to the hip and your right hand is headed to the shoulder, but they're going to come in at the same time. Mai o, two, three, four. Okay, we made it not very far. Two lines. Okay, so they're ready. Starting. Here we lift on this night. E k a po coming down. A a with you. Me o e lifting up. K a po dropping down. U a ho e and wrap. Ma e o two three four. Okay, so most of this is gonna be kaholo. When we wrap up on this, it's going to be a ka-o. Remember we did that sway step earlier? Okay, let's try it. Ka-holo. Ready, set. Ikeiapo. Ikeiapo. Eia with you. Me oe left, right. Keiapo. Drop. Ua ho i sway. Ma e o two three and four. Okay, let's see if we can try just that much with the music. I know we're running out of time, so that might be all we get started for today of this one. You wanna come join us? Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna start a little before that in the medley. You are the wind beneath my Sway four times. One, two, three, four. Hey, that was good. Let's try one more time. I know we have some beginners on this um, this Saturday Ohana Hula, so I don't want to take it too fast. Maybe we'll just do little chunks like that so we can put it together. Let's try Hei Hava Iao two lines, first two lines, one last time, and then we have a special ending. Im's favorite is Poi Balls. So last time of Hei Hava Iao before we end for today. You are the wind beneath my wings. Come to the Tuesday class for that one. On this night, I am here with you. On this night, I have returned. Sway ka o. One, two, three, four. All right. At this time, we're going to close with Im's favorite, which is the poi balls. Now, of course, the poi balls do not come from Hawaii. They are from our cousins in Aotearoa in New Zealand. And so um, my kumu, Le Momi I Maldonado, always, always, always had the keiki use poi balls as a way to practice dexterity and hand-eye coordination. Uh, so we like to let, uh, let our keiki Finish with hoki hoki. If you don't have poi balls, hoki hoki toru fa. Hoki hoki toru mai te wa eru na o te tai kite a kite. Show them what you can do. Kite ne hiri e kite ne hiri e. You can't do two. Oh.
Thanks so much for joining us for our Ohana Hula Saturdays. I, we have a, a lot going on, um, not quite as much as, as April, um, but yeah, we have a lot of hula that we want to share with you this month. So thank you for being a part of our Hula Ohana. Um, I'm so appreciative of all of you who have shared these videos with family and friends. Those of you who have subscribed to our YouTube, um, you know, it's because of your support that we're able to continue and do what we do. So until next week, keep practicing. Maybe we'll see some of you on Tuesday for that um, wind beneath my wings. And uh, definitely check out our YouTube channel because we're going to have all of our um, replays from today and of past weeks. You'll find them there. Okay? So until next week, until we meet again, ahui ho, aloha.